guys. Then again, guess where I am? Airport in Paris. Paris am so so freaking exhausted. I haven't slept much. Yeah, exciting things are happening. And guess where I'm going? This video is gonna be about the jet lag experience. Caffeine, coffee. So basically for now, it's 1.35. I'm still in France. I'm gonna be recording the jet lag experience. It's easier to film when you have sunglasses. Yeah. That sticker from the Hillsong Conference 2020. So I am in Toronto. It is right now three in the afternoon in Toronto, Francis. It's 9 in the afternoon and I am jet lagged. But I'm very pleased to be here and I've got my messy hair, messy face. But it's gonna be fine. How cute is this thing? <laughs> yeah. But I'm very happy to be here. So that was, I mean, when you're jet lagged, that's kind of hard to go back on track, your routine. But that's alright, I mean, oh, I don't know what to say. So this is something that I just really love. It's a map from Saimpun. This is where I used to live in Hong Kong actually. And actually I used to live on Devo Road West. I used to live there. Here. This, yeah, I remember. I used to go there to Sun Yat-sen Memorial Park. There was a very nice harbor road where you could just walk and just have a good time. So, yeah. Saimpun. My lovely neighborhood. I loved it. Although it was kind of stinky, they were selling all the dry fishes and stuff like that. That was kind of stinky. As I'm eating a vegan diet, that was not something that I was really into. Stinky fish, but besides the stinky fish, I liked it. Oh my god, a jet lag story. My Jesus, you may call me. 